send this to you. I'm just recording it all. Huh? He was recording it all, so I'll have to send it to you. Yeah. I recorded some of it. So yes, our dolphins do participate in their own health care. That is husbandry or cooperative health care. Right now you can see some vitamin supplements. Right there you can see that syringe connected to a tube that's going into the throat of Bella there. That's a non-invasive behavior. Dolphins don't have a gag reflex. Their mouth directly connects to the stomach and the blowhole directly to the lungs. There is no go between Dolphin doesn't have to worry about choking on anything. Their blowhole is the only place they breathe from, so that's the only place the air is exchanged. And that's the only place they vocalize from. Even if a dolphin's mouth is open, there is no sound that comes from the dolphin's mouth. There we go, there's some vocals from Duchess interrupting what I'm talking about. She always expects people to listen to her. She's the matriarch, so I should be listening to her. She's in charge. <laughs> She's being a goofball. There you go. Yeah, that's how I So, yeah, 
Usually one of the oldest, most experienced females or mothers will take charge of the social grouping or pod. In this case, it is Duchess. She's in charge. So whatever pool she goes to, she's going to whip everybody in shape. Now, if you look inside Duchess's mouth, or even her daughter or granddaughter, or her son or grandson, you'll see a whole bunch of teeth in there. There they go for some more bows. Anywhere from 72 to 104 cone-shaped teeth. They use these teeth for grasping onto their food. They don't chew their food like us. They swallow it whole. As I said before, they don't have a gag reflex. So we can actually train them to take a gastric tube into the first chamber of their stomach. We can take a sample of their stomach acid. Or, that's a way we can administer... <laughs> so not only can we collect that gastric sample from their stomach, we can collect a urine sample from these uh, ladies or our gentlemen over there too. They had dolphins to pee in a cup just like we did. So through step-by-step -step approximations, we build these behaviors with them, we build trust in the core. And then we stay consistent with these behaviors so we and they all know what normal is. We want to keep them comfortable with everything we have to do in their life. So, like I said, urine samples, fecal samples, gastric samples from their stomach, respiratory samples from their blowhole, just like we would blow our nose, they can blow their blowhole and get a little mucus. And then blood draws from their tail fruits. Dolphin tail fruits are made of fibrous connective tissue similar to cartilage that they have in their ears and nose. So there's no bone, the fat, and muscle there. There goes some more tandem bows. And that's what they're using right now to propel themselves through and out of the water, those tail flutes. Now those tail flutes only have connective tissue, blood vessels, and nerves. There's no bone, fat, or muscle there. Uh, that's the easiest place to find the blood vessels. You're done. On the dolphin's body. That's where we take the blood draw from. Looks like the mother and son are going to go back out. This is Duchess and K2 out to the center of the pool. There they go. Son's even almost exceeding Duchess. He's getting up there. He's only a year and a half. Now we can also perform sonograms on our dolphins. We have the same ultrasound equipment we can use on ourselves. We can monitor female pregnancies, female cycles, as well as the inner workings of all of our dolphins. We can check out all their organs. So we can even do sonograms on our male dolphins. As I said before, our dolphins do eat about 5% of their body weight here on a daily basis. Mm. Well, in their natural environment, they do have to hunt the forage for their food. So there is a possibility they could go a few days without eating. Hunting is not the mm -hmm. easiest trade. But dolphins do use team-contingent tandem behaviors. So they do work well as a team. And we try to do the same thing here. We want to make sure all of our dolphins work well together. So at different sessions, we will have different groups of dolphins working together. And that's how we make sure that everybody works well together. Just like if you have a family or a team unit, you want to make sure everybody works well together. Otherwise, you will not have a cohesive unit. So the boys over in the first bowl, you see a group of three and two. Sometimes all five males are together. Sometimes we separate those into different groups of three and two. Or maybe bring lightning over here, the older male, and have the other young boys of two and two. It does look like that interaction is concluded. I know we do have two more interactions for the night planned for the boys over there. So Maverick and Beetle are in the center pool, and then the first pool is the main pool. That's where you'll find Lightning, Cosmo, and Osborne. And again, our trainer will step up at various times to interact with them. We'll announce it as best we can. So feel free to enjoy some food and beverage back over the bridge. If you want to stay over here, you can always come over here and ask me any questions. Uh, anything you like, dolphins, cats, tax advice. Thank you. I'm here.